गाइस वेलकम टू द वीडियो वेर इन विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट जेन सी एग्जाम पैटर्न स्पेशली यू नो दी जेन सी नेक्स्ट एग्जाम पैटर्न राइट विल टॉक अबाउट एवरीथिंग यर जेन सी जेन सी वैल्यूएट जेन सी नेक्स्ट एंड ऑल दी अदर यू नो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ एग्जाम्स दैट कॉग्निजेंट है डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ प्रोफाइल्स विच दे एग्जैक्टली कॉल देम दे हैव सो इन दिस वीडियो यू वुड यू नो नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट द लेटेस्ट पैटर्न फॉर कॉग्निजेंट जेन सी राइट विल टॉक about that in detail so just stay in the video for next 15 20 minutes and you'd be able to understand each and everything for cognizant gen c gen c next and all the other segments that they have cause it's really confusing right uh, so that is why uh, we with our internal uh, connections with cognizant we have tried to clear this out and now uh, all the information that i'm going to give you is totally verified and certified so you don't have to worry about cause uh, there are a lot other websites wherein you get incorrect information their information is not updated or it's wrong so do not do not follow that right okay so before that guys uh, get off campus updates and move from prepensa so cisco amazon microsoft goldman uh, hiring plus J, you know paypal and jp morgan hiring would start i mean hiring would be very soon they would uh, start hiring very very soon so we'd post everything on our instagram on our discord on our whatsapp on our telegram and on our facebook handle so make sure you go and join all of them the link to the same is in the description of the video also subscribe to our youtube channel and click on to the bell icon so that you get keep on getting notifications to all such important videos in the future apart from that guys uh, top 3 commenters on this video to get free prep insta prime subscription so i'll tell you what prep insta prime is but yes uh, top 3 commenters on this video would get free prep insta prime subscription so make sure you keep commenting with whatever you have in your mind right okay guys so uh, let us quickly start with uh, the you know uh, discussion then so there are four different roles actually in cognizant the first one is called the gen c the second one is gen c elevate the third one is the gen c pro and the fourth one is the gen c next currently they they are hiring for gen c next but with that they are also hiring for gen c elevate we will try to understand how currently they are active for gen c next with a package of 6.75 lpa gen c pro is 5.4 lpa we we'll definitely let you know when when they start hiring for gen c pro but currently they are doing it for gen c next and somehow they are filtering candidates for gen c elevate as well we'll try to understand that in the video apart from that the basic gen c profile is for 4 lpa this one is for 4 lpa plus skill bonus right uh, so skills that they expect uh, you to already know for gen c next profile is ai ml big data not all of them but at least two or three of them ai big data ml full stack dot net python data scientist cyber security aws infra developer right so these are the hot skills that you should know uh, or you should not only know you should also have certifications for them uh, you know to make sure you have a fair enough chance to get into gen c next with 6.75 lpa so all the skills that they are looking here are advanced programming skills and the latest skills talking about gen c elevate so they they expect you to know c unix dot net cloud java software engineer tester iot developer right so the the foundational knowledge in programming and database but database the basic skills but you know good knowledge on them so the, for that you have 4 lpa plus skill bonus so i hope you are clear right so currently they are hiring for gen c next right in the next uh, in the next 3 4 minutes i'll explain you why gen c next and then why elevate right okay apart from that guys it's not only that you got you got into gen c and now you have to survive entire life in gen c it's not like that so there is a thing called cognizant or orbit shifter wherein you know you first thing is uh, you need to you know develop your skills you need to get certified and then there is an internal assessment which happens inside cognizant to promote you internally within a year to the next profiles let's say you got into gen c right and you want to get uh, get a profile like gen c elevate or gen c pro or gen c next right so i've already told you i've already discussed the skills that you need right so you need to work upon all the skills while working at cognizant so that with the gen c profile you can upskill yourself or upgrade yourself to the next profile or the pro profile or the elevate profile with a higher package so you have to get certifications you have to get your skills and then uh, there would be an internal assessment inside cognizant to do the orbit shifting for you right Talking about the eligibility criteria, guys. Uh, B, B Tech, M Tech, M C A, M S I T students from 2022 batch, right? So, uh, you know, uh, this would happen through your T P O, right? So the T P O would be allowed. There would be shared links and everything. Your aggregate should be 60 percent and greater. I, I'll not be reading out everything here, guys. I have better things to discuss in this video. 
So what you can do is you can pause it here and just uh, you know read it out on your own basic eligibility criteria. Similarly, the documentations that you would be needing while applying. So the, here are some important documents that you need. You can still pause the video here, read out everything that's written. It's very simple, very simple requirements. You can also take a screenshot or a photo on your phone if you feel like, right? Okay. Now coming to the main part of it. So Gen C, Gen C Elevate, Gen C Pro, and then Gen C Next. So the compensations we already discussed: four, four, four LPA plus skill bonus, five point four LPA, and then six point seven five LPA. The hiring process is stage one, right? For Gen C, it's aptitude test. For uh, Gen C Elevate, it's skill based assessment. For Gen C Pro and Gen C Next as well, it's skill based assessment. Uh, for Gen C, it's basic aptitude test and then the basic coding and all the road they are. So currently, you are focused on the skill based assessment because that is the profile for which they are hiring currently, right? So skill based and then you have your technology interview, HR interview, right? The timelines are basically for Gen C next is July, August. So it's happening currently, right? And for Gen C, it's September onwards. Rest is September onwards. Now, the most important thing is for skill based platform, which is for which they are hiring currently the Gen C profile that would happen via hacker rank. A lot of <laughs> other websites and other YouTube handles are, you know, uh, sharing wrong information here. So the yeah, Gen C, the basic Gen C profile hiring happens via AMCAT, wherein you have an aptitude test and all those things will we'll definitely come up with a video. Uh, when, when the hiring starts right in September, but for for the skill based assessment, they actually use hacker rank. So that is one important thing that you must know. Right now, let's talk about the entire, uh, you know, recruitment process for the same. So once you register after registering, you have a skill based assessment on hacker rank. Once you give that and guys, uh, once you meet the Gen C next cutoff, which is 90 percentile and above, to be honest. You get an option, uh, you, you get a chance to give the technical and HR interview. Now, so registration, skill based assessment based on your cutoff, it's, if it's 90 or above, you move on to your technical HR interview. If you perform really good in the technical HR interviews, you have skills, you have certifications, you performed well in the technical interview, you get your Gen C next offer letter. Now, in the same technical HR interview, if you think uh, if the interviewer feels like your skills are good, but not up to the mark for Gen C next profile, what they would do you do is uh, they would ask, they would actually give you an offer letter for Gen C elevate from the same assessment only, right? So the, the onboarding and all would be a little later on. But yeah, if you, if they think your technical interview, you are up to the mark, but uh, not exactly for Gen C next uh, and if you're okay for Gen C Elevate, they'll give you the Gen C next offer letter, Gen C Elevate offer letter. And if you still don't perform in Gen C Elevate as well for that as well, if, the, if your interview goes very bad, you got, get rejected for the same. Now, coming back here, skill based assessment. So 90 and above, you go on the right hand side. But if your scores are anywhere between 60, 70 to 80, 85. So that means uh, you get an option. So they'll, they, what they'll do is they'll put you in a queue for your Gen C Elevate interview, right? They'll call you, they'll, they'll take your Gen C Elevate interview. And if you perform well, you get your Gen C Elevate offer letter. If not, you get rejected. And definitely if you don't even meet the cutoff, which is 60%, at least your candidate chair is on hold. You can apply to future, uh, you know, Gen C CTS on campus or further off campus for CTS. So for that, in that case, you're Gen C Next and Gen C Elevate Dream is shattered, right? If you don't meet the cutoff. So skill based assessment is very, very important. Now talking about the skill based assessment, guys. Yeah. So once you do that, so guys, before joining, you have a mandatory three months of internship. You can also, uh, you know, do an optional internship during your seventh semester on selected skill. So the internship would be between January to June. Now let's talk about the most important part that is the assessment. So the total duration for the assessment is three hours, guys, wherein there is section one, which is multiple choice question, and then section two is the coding challenge. We'll talk about uh, both of them one by one. But let me first tell you for both both of them, uh, what are the basic skills or for multiple choice question? What are the skills that you need to take care of? First thing is your control structure. Basic input, output, for loop, if else statements and all those. Oops. Guys, now talking about object oriented programming. This is purely on Java. The questions that you would get from OOPS would, would be purely, purely, purely on Java, which would include inheritance or 
things like that right polymorphism inheritance and all those parts from your java oops so your entire roots would be based on java so java is very 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 important for gen c next talking about dsa so you have arrays you have classes objects struct trees searching sorting pointers exception handling so now exceptional handling should you should know exception handling in java as well so again java is very important while exceptional handling cause yeah exception handling in java is a very huge topic in itself and you must know that we have already covered that in our you know java course which is already there in prep insta prime even oops is covered we already have courses on dsa right utility api right and then again talking about collections framework guys very important section and that again is asked in java database connectivity or uh, you know part of it is called jdbc so jdbc again you have to prepare and then that is from java reflection and serialization file handling in java so java is very 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 important and guys we have already uh, you know our uh, 50 to 60 hours of course is already there on our prep insta prime i'll just uh, give you a walk through on the same right uh, so when you scroll it down 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 right so you can see i'll just show you java is here basic coding intermediate coding competitive coding is here still if you you don't need aptitude for your gen c next but you would need it for the basic cognizant hiring so we have everything for that already over here talking about the computer science subjects that you need operating systems dbms sql they are very 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 important and they are already here talking about the most important thing for cognizant uh, you know gen c next is guys this part i'll just show you yeah competitive coding now just tell let me tell you one thing guys the, the, the courses that are available in the market they they could have 70% of what uh, the rest of the things we have but they do not have competitive coding and without competitive coding uh, you would not be able to clear your gen c next round and i can give it to you in writing if you don't no competitive coding if you don't prepare for competitive coding and java as well do not even think about gen c next right so uh, let me just show you how our java course looks like so scrolling it down down so guys the entire you know course is here i was talking about collection frameworks right talking about exception handling everything is already updated here talking about your oops in java that i was talking about so let me show you a quick video right from let's say composition so i i have personally taken the java course and guys we we teach from the very basics and then we 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 tell you about everything that you need while coding right we we code here real time i code here real time we give you assignments i give you enough time to code on your own as well so a very structured course which includes all the important and necessary things do not include the unnecessary things so it's you know crisp and short and concise i mean you have everything but you 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 do not have unnecessary things to waste your time on right collections framework exception handling buffer reader buffer writer multi thread lambda expressions regular expressions all that you need for your gen c next is already there on our prep insta prime right okay now the next thing is guys uh, database and sql so basic query uh, language simple to medium data query fetch join pl sql function stored procedure view trigger data control language transaction control language cursor exception handling talking about the next thing is web ui so guys uh, the web ui course is already uh, you know uh, the, the day we are uh, making this video live the course is already uh, you know under uh, uh, editing and all it's already been shot and it would be available and, and i think if you are watching it a little late or 2 3 days back the, the, the course would already be live there on our prep insta prime web ui right so everything that you need from this section is all in all in all included in our prep insta prime so let i have already showed you let me show it to you once again so seems like my internet is a little slow today right so yeah
DBMS SQL, right? Let me let me show you one of the videos from DBMS as well. I'm really sorry, guys. My internet is a little stuck today. Right. So introduction, architecture and model, ER models, advanced relational database model, right, and everything, right, is already there. So let me show you how the course in DBMS has to look like. So all the courses have, guys, animations and all the important and necessary things that you need. Very, very, you know, interesting videos that we have shot for you guys, right? So talking about keys in DBMS, yeah, right? Similarly for all the other uh, things that you need for your density. Next. So, uh, guys, uh, the first round is, uh, you know, the section one is multiple choice questions wherein the duration is 40 minutes. The questions are 20 to 25. Question type conceptual and code analysis. So I've already showed you, you need Java. The, the most important thing is Java and then you need SQL, you need DBMS, you need uh, DSA, right? You need web UI. And as I've already said, everything is there in our prep insta. Right. Talking about the, okay, so we've already talked about this. Talking about the second part is the section number two, that is coding challenge. So guys, in coding challenge, uh, the duration is 140 minutes and the questions are from five to six. And the question types are case study. So guys, uh, first is the easy question that is top 100 code from prep insta. Let me show you. So if you want to prepare for that, you can simply go and search. My bad guys, my internet is too slow today. Just search for prep insta top 100 codes. Uh, and this is the page here wherein for the, for the, you know, coding question number one, you would get everything from prep insta top 100 codes, right? And the codes are in all the languages, C, C++, Java and Python, right? Similarly, for the second half of it is uh, this, right? Highest factor, common factor, right? Important codes related to arrays, operations on strings, pattern printing, and everything that you need. So you can just go and check out this page. So the first question would be an easy question from Prep Insta top 100 code, medium question. The second question would be a medium question from Prep Insta top 100. But the last part, I'm just talking about the, the last part, operation on strings or pattern printing or on arrays, right? So this is where you can expect the second question to be from. Now, so this, uh, the first question, the second question would be guys of medium difficulty uh, and easy difficulty and medium difficulty and the marks, let's say, would be 20, 30. If the marks are 20 or 30 for them, the case study for competitive coding would be of 50 marks at least. And similarly for DSA, similarly for case study and SQL, it would be 30, 30 marks each. So competitive coding has the highest weightage in the case study. So you would get a case study from competitive coding, right? I've already showed you guys how our competitive coding on Prep Insta looks like, right? Let me again show you some of it. So guys, uh, Competitive coding is again very important to clear, you know, the second section, I mean, the second section wherein you have to do case studies and without competitive coding, your preparation is incomplete for Gen C next. And uh, a lot of courses which are available on internet, make sure while before you buy them, make sure you just ask them if they have competitive coding with them or not. Okay. Uh, so let me show you one of the questions from here. It's a backtracking, right? And then there are things like NQueen's problem and, okay, let me show you the NQueen's problem from here. That will give you an idea onto the course content that we have and also the quality of content that we have, quality of videos, quality of everything that we have on Prep Insta. Right? So this is how the videos look like. So competitive coding, right? Everything is available on Prep Insta Prime. One subscription and you get access to every Thing. We'll talk about those as well in the end part of the video, right? Okay. So guys, then uh, case study on SQL. Again, another case study on SQL. Let me now also show you how a case study looks like a case study from SQL. So uh, you get some uh, some data here, right? Some input. So this is the input format. 
overall i'll just give you a fair enough idea this is the input format right you have some inputs and this is the output format that you are expected to get here's the sample data that you would be given and based on the sample data you would also be given the sample output data so you have the sample input data sample output data now what you actually have to do is uh, you you get a space to write an sql query so now you have to write an sql query so that this sample data when you input this sample data you get the output as this whatever output they'll ask you to get right you have to write a query for that and for this particular one the the hint is use the concept of order by right so this is how the case study would look right and again for sql guys we already have a course uploaded on prep insta prime i've already shown you it there right okay so guys apart from that now top 3 comments on this video to get free access to prep insta prime right so let me show you how our prep insta prime looks like so i've already showed you a lot of courses there uh we were talking about coding 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 but we also have aptitude there though it's not for gen c next but it would be there for the basic cognizant hiring or basic any other company hiring there would be aptitude so we have uh, all the aptitude related courses all the interview experience courses that you need are already there uh you know you need to prepare for resume it's already there right the best part is guys uh, there are 100 plus skills 100 plus company specific courses popular coding for basic intermediate competitive coding so even if you are a mechanical civil student you can you still have a chance to you know start your preparation course we have a course for you as well talking about aptitude we have course on aptitude as well so let me uh, give you some idea on to how our course on aptitude looks like right even though they they they're not going to be asking it to you in gen c next uh, okay So let me show you one of the videos from Aptitude. So let's say you are preparing for pipes and systems today, right? So let me find the video for pipes and systems from here. So guys this is the sort of animation that you actually get Okay, so I I hope you guys got an idea onto how the aptitude course look like. So guys, similarly, all the other courses that we have on prep and I showed you competitive coding, aptitude, SQL, DBMS, any other courses for your resume building, for your interview preparation, right? For basic coding, everything has such cool animations. And not only that, guys, you get certificates for all the skills that you complete. from prepinsta and you also get tcs remote internship certificate with all the prepinsta prime subscription so you just have to buy one subscription and you get everything for everything included in it right so the prices currently guys are 3 months 2199 6 months 3199 12 months is 4199 and for 18 months it's 4699 these are the least possible price that could ever be guys and definitely by the time you are watching the video the price might have already increased so make sure you go and check that out asap right so the link for the same is in the description of the video apart from that guys a lot of companies would be active very soon so make sure you have you know subscribe to all our social media handles you have subscribe to our youtube channel click on to the bell icon as well the link to our instagram discord facebook and everything others can be found in the description of the video last but not the least guys top 3 commenters on this video to get free prep insta prime subscription so make sure you keep commenting on the video so now my team would play a quick trailer on to give you some more idea on to how the other courses looks on prep insta prime as well thank you so much guys Thank <laughs> you.